All right, we're back in this 2018 488 Spider uh, Ferrari. And uh, I mentioned in part one, there would be a part two of the sticky button issue. So I have some updates on what the problem is, what's happening, what Ferrari does about it and all the things. So anyway, it's a common problem with these Ferraris. Uh, the interior plastics, apparently, and I, I, I've only Googled and talked to a couple people, so what I believe to be the problem is that these Ferrari buttons and most of the interior was coated with PPG soft touch clear coat. And apparently that's what fails and then you've got to remove it exposing the plastics on the buttons um, but once you remove it you obviously aren't putting back on a clear coat so they should last just fine um, but now you're dealing with the plastics and not the protective layer so what I'm doing is I'm polishing and ceramic coating these buttons uh, just to give them another layer of protection uh, but beyond that the polishing had to happen using the Adapt Smart Polish from DetailJuice.com and a microfiber towel. So what I did was, uh, as I mentioned in part one, I used my Infinite Purpose Cleaner from DetailJuice.com, diluted one to three. Uh, so in a 16 ounce bottle, that's four ounces of Infinite Purpose Cleaner and fill it up with water. So four ounces to 12 ounces of water. Um, and so we've got all these buttons, listen, my hands, my fingers would stick before in part one. All these buttons are free of sticky now. No stickiness. I got all this, this, all of this was sticky and gross. I got this, uh, I'm gonna work on this area a little bit more right here, but I got the sides feeling okay. I'm not gonna completely strip these. I'm just gonna like beat it up till it's not sticky uh, because these aren't the buttons and my agreement with the owner was to deal with the buttons and I ain't pulling this Ferrari apart unless I have to. Um, and do I have to? I don't know. Depends on what my client says. For this guy, I'd probably do whatever he asked. So anyway, so today I got back in because in part one I finished these two buttons and this surround and this button. Um, I then started messing with these buttons in the first go round. Notice they're completely free of... Uh, any kind of stickiness as well. Uh, today we got in here and I started on these buttons. They're all sticky free. Uh, like I mentioned, I got most of this all sticky free. I'm gonna work on this a little bit more. Um, all the buttons are good. All these buttons here are free of sticky. Um, all these buttons up in here had the same issue, um, but all of these are good. These two are good. This one here. Um, these, little paddle deals these actually had the most on them on the backs but completely free of it now um, but the face the sides the backs of both of these buttons were nasty the suspension button was super nasty and you can see now no sticky um, the turn signals my clients was was kind of uh really interested in because he uses those buttons every time he drives so anyway they're all sticky free and then so after i use the infinite purpose cleaner to go to clean off all the clear coat on all these buttons even these two down here were nasty but you can see no sticky now uh after i use the infinite purpose cleaner and a microfiber towel and some toothpicks and some brushes and all of that to safely clean the buttons. I then went around and hand polished all the buttons with my Adapt Smart Polish and a microfiber towel. And so I got all of this cleaned up and polished. I polished all the faces of the buttons. Um, so they all look super nice. Sorry, it's kind of kind of dark in here. The camera is definitely doing its thing to brighten and darken things, but I just want to show you how awesome everything looks. 
no longer sticky that's what matters no more sticky all right so if you've got a ferrari and you're interested in getting ready get getting rid of the sticky nasty mess on the buttons give me a call uh, or order some infinite use detail or I'm sorry order some infinite purpose cleaner from detailjuice.com and uh, this did a lot for polishing some of the scuffs out of the scratch out of the uh, plastics and that kind of thing on the buttons um, they're not perfect but they're high wear items anyway so anyway that's how we do it nothing fancy I will tell you that when you're polishing um, when you put a little bit of the polish on the corner of the microfiber and then you would basically bring it up here and start going to town rubbing right doing your thing well you will get polish stuck in the cracks everywhere normally compressed air would be great however i don't have a compressor with me today so i found that this brush this um lug nut brush that i use uh, this is a cleaner one not a nasty one uh, more of a newer one, but the bristles are just hard enough to reach inside of the nooks and crannies to get the polish out So you just you pull pull then you'd go up and just wipe and then just basically Do what you got to do to get the uh, brush in the cracks and crevices so that you can remove all the polish residue and It's not in there anymore uh, same thing goes for if you're dealing with um the buttons and trying to clean them or whatever you can actually use the brush uh, to not add more liquid because nobody wants their electronics all diluted with cleaner or even water or whatever else uh, polish whatever nobody wants that nobody needs it it's not good so anyway that's how I clean up these buttons in a red 19 or <laughs> 19 in a red 2018 488 spider hey thanks for watching guys i appreciate you listening to me babble and taking the time and all of this um if you've got questions for me 813-846-4406 is my cell phone number uh if i can help you in your detailing endeavors let me know i also have my custom shop infinity custom works which is uh in holiday florida but we're also still mobile I build all kinds of cool things. Uh, we customize cars, boats, RVs, motorcycles, anything. Uh, we also detail, ceramic coat, protect. I've got my VersaCoat 13 product. Uh, I also paint, do bumper repair, leather and vinyl repair and reconditioning. I recolor leather and vinyl. I do anything that has to do with an upgrade or a restoration on auto boat, RV, motorcycle. That's what I do. I also am building custom audio systems and all kinds of stuff, which is why I rolled everything into my custom shop instead of just having a detailing service. I'm capable of much more i enjoy doing much more i want to do more on a bigger scale and i love building things fixing things restoring things and that kind of thing so that's what we do give me a shout if you need me check me out on instagram it's gary.dean.35 i'll put that right here and uh thanks for watching guys i hope this helped you in your ferrari button detailing endeavors have a great day guys thank you again for watching